Hi, right, what's up? It's Panda Skills here. Uh, hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, I've been really busy. But wanted to show you all my uh, complete uh, Ruger 1022 build that I had going on. Um, if you all seen a couple of my previous videos, you all should know that uh, this was my little project that I'm working on, which I finally just finished. Um, so I just wanted to give you all a quick run through of everything that I got how much they cost and where I got them from. So first off, I'll just go ahead and show y'all the uh, build here. Um, for all you safety nuts, let me go ahead and do this. There's no ammunition in the magazine. Nothing in the chamber. Okay, so all y'all can chill out. Alright, so here it is. There you go nice I like it and it just feels great let's start off with the rifle it's a Ruger 1022 FS that's the tactical 1022 with the threaded barrel so you can see here it's got that mini 14 flash hider on it um, I picked that one up for $299.99 um, it was like the one only one left in uh, the, where I'm at so it was pretty pricey um, but it's exactly what I wanted. Um, I also got, if you don't know, this is the Archangel 556 stock. Um, I picked that up for 107 bucks off of eBay. Um, I got a auto bolt release, a bolt quartz and auto bolt release. Um, so before I go more into that, let me uh, show y'all what that is. Um, so basically, in the normal uh, Ruger 1022, when you would lock it, the bolt to the rear, It'd just be a pain just to try to release it. So, with the new auto bolt release, I can just pull back, and there you go. Now, um, I didn't know this at first, but if you pick up the Archangel 556, it comes with an extended magazine release, um, which extends the magazine release by like half an inch. So it's definitely a lot easier to get these magazines in and out, but it's still not an issue with the stock. So, um, when I picked up the auto uh, bolt release, I installed it with the Archangel extended magazine release and for some reason, it just does not want to work. It would not work how it's designed to work, it would not lock the bolts of the rear 90% of the time and then 90, the other 90% of the time, it just didn't do what it was designed to do. It wouldn't uh, release forward like that. Um, so I uh, took out the... Um, Archangel 556 uh, magazine release put in the stock one and now the auto bolt release works beautifully no issues at all so that's something you got a you know fair warning if you get a Archangel 556 with the bolt quartz and auto bolt release will not work with the magazine release that the Archangel 556 comes with so now you know okay let's continue on with this build okay the next thing is the flip up sights. Boom, look at those. They're nice, they're cheap. I like them. Um, so, in my previous video, um, y'all would have seen that I have had these already for a while. Um, but my front sight was the UTG Tower sight. And um, when I had that on, I didn't realize that it was, you know, a lot higher than my rear sight. So my shots were all friggin' retarded and all over the place. So, went back on to Amazon, which is where I got these, um, and I looked and I found the uh, UTG low profile front sight. So that's what you want to get. If you're getting the um, rear flip up sight, then you want to get the low profile front sight. All right, next on the list is my red dot. This is a 40 millimeter red dot BSA. It's got like 10 different brightnesses. Um, I like it. I wanted a larger, um, I guess, uh, deal to look through, um, just so it's easier for me. It doesn't totally block out my peripherals, and I'm Asian, so I already have bad peripherals. Um, but with it as being as big as it is, I don't have an issue with looking through my backup iron sights um, and I still if I were to use just my red dot there's a big nice you know the 40 millimeter sight to look through 
that I don't have to worry about totally losing any um, peripheral vision and is just completely, you know, making it difficult to shoot. So that's what that is. And that was also uh, off of Amazon for around $40. The Ruger BX25. This is um, pretty much out of stock everywhere, but back then when I bought them, they were only 24 bucks, like 24.99, and I got those off of Midway USA, and I picked up three of them. Um, the next one on the list are my side rails. Um, right now you can't really see, but the side rails here and here. Um, these are the Magpul MOE uh, side rails and they are the nine slot um, uh, side rails so and they were like seven something and I bought two of them because I have two because if you know the Archangel um, the deal only has the top and bottom Piccadini rails so I wanted the two side ones and I didn't need it to fully um, I didn't want the longer one because I didn't need it to fully go all the way down. I mean, I guess if some people like it like that, but I just pretty much here, I really don't put anything. If you're worried about having to pick up uh, like extra flared nuts from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, don't be. Um, I picked these up and everything that it came with worked just fine. Um, it took a little bit of fiddling to get the, the, the nut and the bolt to meet inside, but I got it done, it tightened down, and it, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's on there, so those work fine. Um, next would be my offset light mount on this side. Uh, so that sucker literally was only three bucks off of Amazon, and it had that free super duper uh, shipping saving though I paid three dollars next would be uh, the light this light um, found on the ground so kinda looked out on that it is a Pelican M6 LED if you're curious um, to what it is so yeah pretty good light I, I didn't know what it was at first so I went online did some research on what I found and all that stuff and yeah it's a really good uh, flashlight so um, I like it and it was free and I'm not too worried about it getting banged up so there you go I think the last thing would be my foregrip which again y'all should already know uh, I was in the service so I somehow acquired this um, when I was in um, and I never had to return it, so you guys there you go. off of YouTube wanted me to weigh it. So let me go ahead and weigh the sucker. There you go. Sitting around. Let's see if I can just make it calm down for a second. So seven pounds, seven, six. So, so seven total pounds, price six. for everything, um, generally around $583. Um, so it got pretty high up there, but. It's half the price of an AR and it's still not an AR because it's a Ruger 1022. It may look like an AR, but it's not. All in all, with everything that I bought, I didn't have to do anything extra. Everything that I bought was exactly what I bought it for and it did it exactly. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, and in the description, I'll put everything that I got on it where I got it from and how much it costs. If you liked the video, comment, share, and like. If you didn't like the video, comment, share, and like. And if I wasted your time, comment, share, and like. Alright guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy.